Okay, I'm going to unbox my new ink bird that I got in the mail. It comes with uh, Wi-Fi. Smart temperature controller with Wi-Fi. I'm going to be using this in my hermit crab tank to control the heat pad. So this looks like your typical temperature controller where you set your temperature and then it looks like it's got an extra Wi-Fi button on here. Um, it's got two outlets, so you can control two different devices with this. And then it's got this nice long five foot probe that goes inside the tank. And then of course the power cord. And then it looks like the instruction book um, has quite a few pages in it. So it's not just a plug it in and figure it out kind of thing, which is always nice. So, you can get it with different sockets if you're outside the U.S. And then we're going to download this Inkbird Pro app to my phone and be able to pair with my phone and keep track of my crab tank temperature even when I'm not at home. So I'm going to get this plugged in and show you how I have it set up in my tank and um, talk about whether or not it was easy to program it, all that good stuff. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've got this new uh, temperature controller all set up. You see I have my probe inside of the crab tank and the probe is right near my heat pad where I want it to be because I use an ultra therm heat pad. So the probe needs to be close to the pad to control the output of the pad. Then um, the probe is just running outside of the tank and back to the controller. I, it's not actually flashing like that. That's just the camera doing that. Um, I downloaded the app and it was pretty easy to just install the app on my phone, um, connect to the Wi-Fi and program my controller right from the app. So, um, like in a matter of minutes, I'm set up and connected and working. It looks like a really nice unit. The app looks really cool. Um, I only have maybe two sort of complaints. Um, one is that the power cord could be a little bit longer. Um, it worked where I had the old controller, but um, I don't have as much excess cable. And then the other thing that I noticed was when I was setting the voice alarm in the app, it has an option for setting an alarm when it's over a certain temperature, but for the low temperature alarm, it only goes to 58 degrees. And I would like to be able to set mine say at like 70 degrees because we know that once our tanks are down below 70 degrees, it, you know, um, that's a dire situation. So I wish it went a little bit lower, but I love the dual outlet. I love this really long five foot probe cord and I really like the app that controls it. The other thing that this controller has that my previous one doesn't have is it also has a timer setting. So if you want to control your heat um, based on, you know, running for a certain number of hours versus a target temperature, that you can switch it over to timer mode and um, it'll, it'll uh, follow the time schedule that you set up for it. Or you can just use it in the traditional, traditional setup that I have um, where I set my target temperature for the heat pad and um, let it do its thing. And it shows that it's connected to the Wi-Fi up here. Yeah, that's it. That's a really nice controller. I'm excited to have it. Um, we're going to be able to give one of these away 
And if you're one of those people who has uh, two different heat pads on your tank, you're going to love having dual outlets that you can control. And um, the five foot probe gives you a lot of room so that you can put that uh, probe in the center of your tank where it needs to be right up against the heat pad.